Welcome to the Widowed Mom Podcast, episode 255, Acceptance is Not a Place. Have you ever wondered whether you've reached the acceptance stage, and if not, what you can do about it? This is one of the biggest myths in grief, and in today's episode, I want to set the record straight about what acceptance really means. Welcome to the Widowed Mom Podcast, the only podcast that offers a proven process to help you work through your grief to grow, evolve, and create a future you can truly look forward to. Here's your host, Master Certified Life Coach, Grief Expert, Widow, and Mom, Krista St. Germain. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the podcast. Just a reminder, we are now on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and search The Widowed Mom Podcast and find episodes there with me face to camera, often staring up into the sky (laughs) as you watch me record the podcast. But if you'd like to listen there, you can. And a reminder too that April is always the month that fills up the fastest for some reason for Mom Goes On. So if you've been thinking about checking it out, go to coachingwithkrista.com, click on the work with me tab. It will explain so much about Mom Goes On and how it works. And if you missed the announcement last week, we now have a limited number of scholarships available every month. And so if you are interested in that, go fill out the application and then you can email us at support at coachingwithkrista.com and we can see if it's a good fit for you. Okay, so let's talk about acceptance. It's one of those things that drives me a little bit crazy, but I understand how we got here. And I understand why we're thinking about it wrong. And I want to set the record straight, at least the record as I see it. So if you are familiar with the five stages of grief, which was created by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross in 1969 and documented in her book on death and dying, and then later on grief and grieving, the five stages are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and lastly, acceptance. And so because of this work, Well, because people have misinterpreted this work, a lot of us are walking around wondering if we have reached acceptance as though it is a place, as though it is a noun. It is neither. It is not a place. It is not a noun. Reminder that Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's work was, first of all, anecdotal, right? She was writing about what she was noticing in hospice patients, people who are coming to terms with their own terminal diagnosis, that they tended to deny and then get angry and then bargain and then feel depressed and then ultimately accept. So that's where that work came from. She did not mean for us to hear that acceptance is a place, a noun, something we are either in or out of, right? Officially, And that reaching acceptance meant the end of grief. She didn't mean us to hear that, but that seems to be what we've heard, is that acceptance is a one-time thing. We get there and we're done. I have to laugh. I try not to look sometimes at (laughs) what's happening on social media, but someone actually posted on one of my posts. It was a video post, an interview with me talking about Hugo's death and what happened. And this person posted something like, you aren't done with your grief. Where is it? I wish I had written it down. I thought I had written it down. Something about you aren't done with your grief. Like notice that your voice keeps going up at the end of your statements. Fix that and re-record this promo, which feeds right into what I'm talking about today, right? It feeds right into the narrative that grief ends. It doesn't. Acceptance is not a place it is not a noun. It is a verb. It's something we do over and over and over. Acceptance is a choice that we make over and over and over and over. And there are always new aspects of our loss to accept. So we want to stop thinking about it as one and done. And we want to start thinking about it as a constant opportunity, a constant choice. And partly this is because secondary losses are such an important part of grief. If you haven't listened to the podcast episode I did on secondary losses, you can find that one. It's episode 216. It's called secondary losses. So the primary loss is 
the death, right? The person's death. Then the secondary losses are the death by a thousand paper cuts, the losses that keep coming and keep coming and keep coming, many of which we cannot predict, right? There are still secondary losses that I haven't yet experienced and I probably can't even predict them. But all of a sudden we notice we're in a moment where we're thinking they should be there. We're thinking they shouldn't have died. We're thinking they should have been here to experience this. We're thinking it wouldn't have been this way if they had died. And yet they died, right? They aren't here. We're there. They're not. And it feels like a loss. Another opportunity right there to either reject the experience we're having or accept the experience we're having. And those opportunities keep coming over and over and over because grief doesn't end. Secondary losses never end. So of course, acceptance isn't one place. It's not one stage. It's not somewhere we reach. And also I want you to hear that acceptance is not the morally superior option. It's not right to accept and it's not wrong to not accept. It's just a choice that we get to make. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes we might choose to accept. Sometimes we might not. None of that makes us wrong. None of that means we're doing grief wrong. There's no way to do grief wrong. I quote Byron Katie a lot because it's so helpful, right? Byron Katie says, when we argue with reality, we lose, but only a hundred percent of the time. Acceptance is the opportunity in the moment to notice that we're arguing with the reality and to drop the argument. So maybe we notice that we're arguing with how we feel. I shouldn't feel this way. And dropping the argument, accepting means I am feeling this way. We might notice that we're arguing with their death. They shouldn't have died, is what we tell ourselves. Acceptance means dropping the argument. They did die. We might notice that we're arguing with that they aren't here, right? When we're thinking that they should be here. And acceptance just means dropping that argument. They aren't here. Maybe we're telling ourselves we should have done something different. And acceptance means dropping the argument. This is the way I did it. Acceptance does not mean we have to love it. Acceptance does not mean that if we could do it it over again, we would do it exactly the way we did it. It just means we're not arguing with the way that it is. We're not arguing with what has happened. So of course, it's not a noun. Of course, it's not a place. It's not a destination. It's a verb. It's a process. It's a choice. It's something we do over and over and over. And doing it isn't superior. It's just a choice. So if you are wondering, have I reached a place of acceptance? I give you permission and I hope, not that you need my permission, that you will drop that question. It's just not a valuable question because acceptance isn't a place. It's more about what we do each day. It's a choice that we keep making over and over and over if we want to. But it's not a place. It's not a noun. It's just a choice. It's a verb. All right. That's what I have for you today. I love you. You've got this. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. If you like what you've been hearing on this podcast and want to create a future you can truly get excited about even after the loss of your spouse, I invite you to join my Mom Goes On coaching program. It's small group coaching just for widowed moms like you, where I'll help you figure out what's holding you back and give you the tools and support you need so you can move forward with confidence. Please don't settle for a new normal that's less than what you deserve. Go to coachingwithkrista.com and click work with me for details and next steps. I can't wait to meet you.